Hi beautiful souls! It's Tan here with day 16 of astrology camp where we spend 3 minutes every day for 30 days chopping up your nail chart trying to interpret each part of it and it's officially 2019. Happy New Year to everybody! Thank you so much for coming with me on this you know journey and watching all of these videos in this this series and subscribing to my channels and commenting it means so much to me wishing everybody the very best lots of fun enjoyment love so we're going to be looking at the three hard major aspects today the conjunction opposition and the square so if you have a look at your natal chart um, the oppositions will be lines that is blue the square will be red lines and if you are not sure where to go for your natal chart, it's astrocharts.com. I'll provide the links below. So the, the conjunction is not really soft or hard, but I'm just putting it as a hard aspect here. It's more of like when two planets are so close to each other, they form a new kind of energy altogether because they just blend in together so well. You know what I mean? So it's not necessarily hard, uh, like hard or soft, it's just new. <laughs> So the conjunction is when planets need to be within 0 to about 10 degrees of each other. They can be in the same sign or they can be in a different sign to be considered a conjunction. So a Venus in Gemini at 20 degrees, let's say, and a Mercury in Gemini at 23 degrees are going to be in a conjunction with a 3 degree orb. And we're going to be talking about orbs a little bit later on, but they're very close together you know, almost zero degrees degrees apart, so they are a conjunction. A Venus in Virgo at 28 degree and a Moon in Libra at 2 degrees will also be an out of sign conjunction because they're going to be 4 degrees apart with a 4 degree orb, so that's still pretty close to zero degrees, so they will still be considered a conjunction. So the conjunction shows that how we do something in an area of life the planet is going to always be affected and influenced by how we do something else another planet so like a venus moon conjunction person will always love venus using their intuition and with depth the moon always the opposition is when planets are 180 degrees apart and they usually will be in opposite signs but not always because they could be an out of sign uh, opposition. <laughs> so back to gym class. This planet over here, right 180 degrees right opposite this planet over here. So they're standing right opposite to each other. They can see each other very clearly. They consider each other to be opponents on this team. So when one, pl one planet takes the ball and throws it at the other planet, because it's so easy to be throwing this and they're, they're like kind of like opponents, they're going to be smacking it right on this other planet. And the other planet's going to catch the ball and be like, oh, and maybe fall over. <laughs> That's the energy of the opposition. Oppositions show us that how we take area within two different areas of our life needs balance. Being too extreme within one area of life is going to cause an imbalance and it's going to be very uncomfortable within your life and this is going to cause the other area of your life to probably become completely abandoned so balance is the key with oppositions the square occurs when planets are standing at a 90 degree angle apart from each other so back in gym class what can happen is all right, we're going to consider this to be 90 degrees. So this planet, let's say they're holding the ball, right? But the planets are close enough to each other for them to be holding the energy ball at the same time. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to kind of be like, my ball, no, my ball, no, no, no. So it's causing a lot of tension, frustration. Squares show us that we have to mature and we can't really have it all. So one planet is going to have to realize that they're going to have to give the ball to the other planet for most of the time, maybe not all the time, but for most of the gym classes because maybe this planet is a better player and is going to do better for the team. But of course, they will get the ball sometimes but it's better to give over the ball 
most of the time to the better player. So this means that we might have to give up taking action within one area of life to go to the other one most of the time because that is where we can really grow more than if we chose the other planet. I hope this is making sense. So I'd like you to go back to your natal chart right now and go ahead see if you have conjunctions, oppositions and squares which planets and which houses are they in. That's three minutes for you today. I'm going to come back tomorrow and we're going to be talking about um, soft major aspects. Bye!